Hi, Stu Welsh here for Music Technology, and in today's Pro Tools Quick Tips video, we're going to look at the use of VCAs to control groups. So if we look at my mix window here, we can see that I've got a bunch of active mix groups as reflected by the group ID indicator up here, K for keyboards, V for vocals, S for strings. Now what I've done is selected the tracks in my keyboards group just to highlight what we're looking at today. And if I move a fader in here, you'll see that because I've got an active mix group, it moves all the faders together because they're grouped. Now if I want to isolate a fader without turning off or suspending the mix group, what I can do is right click it and that will isolate it from the rest of the group and allow me to move it up and down. But sometimes I might want to automate the level of all these faders at once. Now the way to do that is to use a type of track on Pro Tools called a VCA fader track to control the overall members of the group. So I'm going to make a new track now by pressing Shift Command N on my Mac. You can use Shift Control N on your Windows machine. And then I'm going to hold down Command. You can hold down Control and I'm going to press the down arrow until I get to VCA. Now this is defaulted. It's named to VCA. So I'm going to press Tab and I'm going to call it Keyboards. And the reason that I've done it in block capitals is just to differentiate it from my group name. I'm going to press Enter to create it. And you can see it's created this VCA fader here. Now VCA stands for Voltage Controlled Amplifier and is used in some large mixing desks where it uses voltage to control the level of the other faders. Now here, that principle is applied digitally in Pro Tools. So if I move this now, you'll see that it doesn't actually do anything because what we need to do is assign it to this group. So if I go up here where it says no group and I drop that down to keyboards, that then assigns it to the keyboard group and you can see that it's turned purple to reflect the purple color of my group here. So now if I move this fader, it's going to move all the faders in this group and you'll notice it's changed the isolation operation here in Pro Tools in that if I actually move normally with left click a fader in that group now, it's already isolated because overall control has been given to the VCA fader here. Now this is not the same as using a routing folder track or indeed an auxiliary because you're not actually sending any of the digital audio information to this VCA. You're literally using it to control the level of the members of the group. So if you've got any effects set up that are post fader, reverbs, delays, for example, when you're doing this, you'll also affect the level going to those sends because you're effectively changing the level of the main fader. And if the post fader, that's going to change the level going to those sends, which can also be really useful with mixing. So I encourage you to use VCAs and have a play with them and see how it improves your workflow in Pro Tools. Now, if you found this quick tips useful, please click the like button below and subscribe to our channel. We upload new videos every week. I've been Stu for Music Technology. Happy mixing, and I'll see you soon.